you guys what's up welcome back to another vlog long time no vlog um to y'all it probably might not seem like it but to me it's been a while because i haven't vlogged actually since my birthday which was january 6th and today is uh february the 11th so for me it's been a while since i like picked up the camera um I've just been super tired and super exhausted and just really did not feel like having the camera in my face um but as you can tell by the title and you guys will know long before seeing this vlog probably not long before seeing this vlog but y'all will know before seeing this vlog um we are expecting and so valentine's day is is it sunday yeah, Sunday is Valentine's Day and so we're planning to surprise the girls and do like a little surprise announcement for Valentine's Day for them. So we haven't told them yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm right now I'm headed to Dollar Tree to go and pick up a few um, cute little knickknacks to put together a cute Valentine's Day announcement box for them. Um, like these days y'all I just have to like get up and go whenever I have time and the energy because this baby has been kicking my butt y'all like on the energy side like I just have been so tired and so exhausted that I just have not felt like doing anything at all so whenever I do get like a little burst of energy I have to get up and go whenever I can because once it hits it hits um but yeah like i said y'all will y'all will know before y'all even see this vlog so i'm excited to tell the girls um and the reason i hadn't like announced it to you guys yet um and the girls too is because i kind of wanted to be well before i told y'all i really wanted to be well into my second trimester um and right now I am, well I'll be, today is what, Thursday? So tomorrow I will be actually 10 weeks. So um, yeah, like I said, I just wanna be fully into my second trimester before like really announcing it and telling people just because the first trimester is so tedious and things can go wrong, even though I know things can go wrong throughout the pregnancy in general um up until the day you have them but i just like i said wanted to you know just be well into that second trimester and where most of the complications come into place or whatever went during the first trimester so yeah like i said i'm excited to announce it to the girls finally happy that you guys know <sighs> And I can just start vlogging and living my life again because I have not, like I said, wanted to pick up the camera because I just ain't felt, I have not felt good, like, at all. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling up to Dollar Tree, about to head in. And I don't know, maybe I'll bring my phone in if I find some cute goodies so I can just kind of do a couple of quick little shots for you guys. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Right now I am on my way to my 16 week OB appointment. Um, although you guys probably won't see this until I'm about 20 weeks. Um, but nevertheless, I still wanted to get this footage just because um, like with Kenzie, I like vlogging wasn't really like wasn't a thing or at least I didn't know about vlogging back then. And then with Catalea, I did not start vlogging until after I had her, like a few months after I had her. Um, so with this one, I just wanted to kind of, you know, document my feelings. I wanted to document the changes within my body, how I look, how I'm feeling, and things like that, just to have, you know, memories other than pictures. Um, so yeah, and I just felt like picking up the camera and vlogging today as well, but also mostly because like i said i just want to have those memories because i don't have any of those memories with like either of my other children so um yeah so anyways like i said on my way 16 week appointment um i have 
so much exciting news to share with y'all like it's been like hectic which is why i have not really been vlogging um well by now y'all probably already know that we've we purchased a house and by the time y'all see this we are living in our new home um but it has just been crazy y'all like the military definitely has a spoiled as far as like moving goes like whenever you're PCSing they like if you're PCSing to another state then they will do all the packing and moving stuff for you and I've like had to move things on my own before um but this time around y'all it has just been so draining so exhausting and ugh, it's just been a lot y'all like the military didn't spoiled us for the past like what seven years no oh my god we've been yeah like seven eight eight plus years anywho they they've spoiled us y'all so um like having to pack up this house and having to pack it up while being pregnant and tired and exhausted and just not feeling well has really taken its toll um and i just can't wait to like be settled and oh my arm is starting to hurt um but yeah i just can't wait to like be settled and get back to some form of normalcy because oh y'all this has been a lot so um anywho just wanted to update you guys there um and yeah i will check back in after my appointment hey y'all so i have been back from the doctor for a little bit now um from checking on our little peanut everything is going well we got an ultrasound picture today and the baby is doing very well very very active and in this envelope we also have the gender however i um i'm going to shred it <laughs> i do believe because i i don't want to know the gender like i'm the only one that does not want to know the gender everybody else in the household and within my family wants to know the gender of the baby, but I really want it to be a surprise gender whenever we just go and deliver and it's like, surprise, we have a whatever. Um, I deep in my soul truly feel like it is a little boy just because my symptoms are totally different from both of my girls. Like I had the same exact symptoms with both Kat and Mackenzie. And the symptoms with this baby is, you guys totally just totally totally different um so i truly feel that it's a boy but i don't know we'll see i'm gonna see how long i can hold out on not knowing the gender i think i can do it i really do because like i said deep in my soul i feel like it's a little boy but then at the same time a little pinch of me wants to kind of know what it is as well so we shall see I really do want to share this envelope though just so nobody in the household tries to take a peek but we'll see maybe i'll just hide it away in a spot that only i know we shall see but i have some stuff over here right now to take to the thrift store i have a bunch of bags back there because we are still in the process of moving but like i said whenever you guys see this video will actually be in our home for probably quite some time by the time you see this um, but anyways, let me get going to the thrift store. I'm so excited. Like, I cannot wait to start sharing these videos with y'all. Um, because I also have, I think I recorded another video for you guys too, which y'all will probably see before y'all see this one. So, I don't know. We'll see how, once everything comes out, how, um, how these videos will pop out. My hair has become so full and it is growing that's random but i'm really tired of dealing with it i really want to cut it <laughs> anyways let me get to the thrift store because we still got a whole lot of packing to do <laughs> hey you guys what's up welcome back to my channel right now i am on my way to a 19 week baby appointment i'll actually be 19 weeks tomorrow um but i'm going for my anatomy scan which i think they actually normally do at 20 weeks but i had to take what appointments they had available 
Um, so 18 weeks and six days it is. Um, which is not too far off anyways. But we're not finding out the gender. Um, but I think like the anatomy scan is just like a necessary like ultrasound that they need to do just to make sure everything's looking good and falling into place. So that's what I am going to do. Hopefully they'll let me record because Daryl won't be with me. So maybe I can get a little bit of footage for you guys as well. We shall see. Um, if I do, it'll probably be for my phone. Um, but yeah, just wanted to come on and update you guys. Um, I have been loving like my big hair lately, like just big messy fro lately. I don't know, like I have been very, very minimal with my hair. I know it's off subject, but I'm really loving like the big fro look, so. Anywho, I just felt like I needed to address that in case anybody was wondering about my hair. Um, but the baby got my hair looking all super healthy and stuff. I mean, I don't think it's all baby. I'm sure it's mama too, but I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but anyways, let me put this camera down because I have a long drive ahead of me. Um, I'm hoping that the weather like gets better today. It's pretty cloudy and it's supposed to be cloudy all day, but hopefully it'll like warm up at least a little bit because I do plan on going out and setting up my garden. Hopefully I'm getting started so late in the game with my garden because of like moving and just been extremely exhausted and really haven't felt up to it. Um, so I am again getting started late in the game, but hopefully things will take off and flourish. I am starting everything mostly everything from seedlings so hopefully that'll give it like a head start but um anyways like i said let me put the camera down and i will check back in with you guys a little bit later oh my god my hair is looking crazy i just woke up from a nap um but anyways i am back from my appointment everything went well they did not let me record as i suspected um they only let me take like one picture which i wasn't even supposed to do that but the lady like she was very sweet because i was like can i record do you mind if i record like the ultrasound and she's like we're not allowed to let you record but like at the end she she's like i'm gonna walk out she's like i'm gonna leave this picture up here she's like you can go ahead and take a picture but don't tell anybody i said that so um she did let me take a picture of like the 3d like face portion of the baby so i'll post that right here for you guys to see um but other than that baby's doing good everything is healthy and growing how he or she should be growing um i came home took a nap because i was like i was just so tired y'all like i almost fell asleep driving home i was just I just came home and passed out like I was so tired um that's one thing about this baby like it is literally like taking everything out of me this sun is beaming um but yeah this baby is like exhausting me so much but I'm learning to like listen to my body and take naps when I need it um which has been one of the greatest lessons of this pregnancy and being able to do that um has been one of the greatest blessings so <sighs> my neighbor's dogs are out and preston is barking he's outside as well so just hold on <laughs> so anyways as i was saying um yeah everything is going well but right now i am outside like i said i took a nap feeling a little bit refreshed i'm still tired but i need to get up and finish life for the day so i'm outside getting ready to do some gardening things um and i just thought i'd bring you guys along with me i have some i have some seeds here that i'm going to attempt to plant in starter like pots and see how well they do if they take like i told you guys earlier i am starting like late in the gardening season so fingers crossed that things take off well and then i also have some cantaloupe seeds because this year i do want to plant um more fruit because i didn't plant fruit i think i don't think i planted any fruit last gardening season no i planted watermelon and cantaloupe which were seedlings that i got um 
but they didn't they didn't do well so um fingers crossed this time around that things will do well but i'm just going to show you guys what i have here that i need to get put into my raised beds and then we're going to sow some seeds okay so over here i have some cilantro and i don't know if i mentioned this to you but i am starting from seedlings this year i think i did maybe i don't know mom brain but um cilantro i have some lavender this i think is sweet mint yeah you can't see it but this is sweet mint i have some cherry tomatoes right here this is a strawberry plant and you can already see that some of the strawberries are developing i have lemon balm this is very good for making tea like sleepy time tea i love lemon balm tea um preston i have some red bell pepper here this is i believe cucumber or watermelon this is watermelon and then this one here should be zucchini nope cucumber they all kind of look the same if you can see like these leaves right here all look just about the same um and then this one actually should be zucchini i believe yep this one's zucchini this is a yellow bell pepper this is broccoli right here and then look at this beautiful strawberry oh my goodness i almost don't want to like even bother it like i just kind of want to leave it in the pot and just let it be because i'm scared i'm gonna shock it and it's not gonna survive but this thing is thriving y'all and then i also purchased a grapevine um because the girls wanted to plant some grapes and it looks super healthy so we'll see how this goes okay so we officially have three beds going on so far this one right here oh my hands are ashy <laughs> already has some kale in it which i think i might transfer to a different box back there was cucumber that already died this is some zucchini that's not looking so well either um yeah i like put them in they went into shock these did not come back these are still trying Whew, i'm out of breath y'all these days um but yeah it's not dead but we'll just see if it flourishes that's like the thing with gardening it's always taking a chance so gotta get soil put into these two boxes which i have right here all three beds officially have soil in them and <clears throat> i'm going to wait until tomorrow to actually go ahead and transplant the seedlings because it's getting late and mama is getting hungry and tired so yep this is what we're looking like so far we will see you guys tomorrow hey y'all so i just finished editing this vlog that you guys just watched um kind of basically like a rundown of the past few months where i've been why i've been mia what's been going on in my life 
um type of vlog so i didn't leave you guys hanging but i did kind of leave y'all hanging um but i was still like recording i just wasn't ready to post what was happening in life right then um so i hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog of what you know why i've been mia and what's been going on um which if you follow me on instagram then you probably already know um and then the video prior to this was my pregnancy announcement so um i don't know life has been good everything's been going good i hope that you guys once again enjoyed this vlog let me know if you guys will be interested in me doing like <clears throat> um what do they call it like pregnancy updates um or just let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see since i am now back and feeling a little bit better and able to push out some videos to you guys i have really 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 missed you guys like seriously missed you guys and it just feels good to finally be talking to you guys in present day because like as i was editing these vlogs i'm like dang this was like so long ago but then it wasn't so long ago as well but um yeah let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see um if you guys would be interested in me doing like pregnancy updates my hair is sticking up like crazy over here um but anywho yeah let me know would y'all be interested in those types of videos i think maybe the next video y'all might see might be an empty house tour i gotta record an intro for that though so it may or may not be but either way i'm gonna have another video up for you guys and yeah leave me a comment let me know what do y'all want to see on my channel um so that i know what kind of content y'all want to see other than just vlog in life you know um i guess i could give y'all a quick belly update this is currently the baby bump um we are 20 We'll be 24 weeks on Friday. So currently 23 weeks and five days. Um, everything's going well today. I have been very, very nauseous. I've like, like nothing is sitting right on my stomach today. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys are interested, I will be happy to like put out some pregnancy videos, just letting you guys know like symptoms that I've been having, foods I've been craving. Um, I don't know what what people put in pregnancy vlogs but anyways love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next vlog bye